Never Stop Learning, week 219. We're gonna take a quick look at Reset Bounding Box in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015. All right, so this is a feature that's been around for a really long time. It's kind of hidden, and it's not one of those features you're gonna use every day, but it does come in handy sometimes, so I wanted to make sure you guys knew exactly where it was. All right, so I've got some artwork laid out here. I'm gonna select the text along the top, and this text has been converted to outlines. That just means it's no longer live text, and Illustrator is kind of looking at this as just a group of paths. All right, one thing you might notice is I have this bounding box going around my text, and it's not really matching up with it perfect. It's not aligned with it. All right, now I could see this guy because over in the top left, you notice that I have my selection tool activated. All right, if you have your selection tool activated and you have some paths selected, but you still don't see your bounding box, uh, what you want to do is hit Command, Shift B for bounding box, and that's gonna bring it back for you. Well, currently I got rid of mine. So to bring them back, you got it. I'm gonna hit Command Shift B, and that's gonna bring it back. So it's just, Command Shift B is just to toggle between those two states. All right, so I've got this guy here, and the bounding box is actually gonna help me make some quick transformations. So if I wanted to resize this, or if I wanted to make a rotation, I'd be able to do it really quickly right here. All right, now, the task at hand is to reset this bounding box so that it matches up or is more aligned with my outline text here. While I have this guy selected, I'm just gonna right click, find transform, and at the bottom, you're gonna see this option here, reset bounding box. Click on that once, and there you go. So it reset that bounding box, so now it's matching up with my text. All right, now a more common use for this, I'm gonna select this guy down here. All right, the bounding box looks great, but I might need to reposition this object or make a transformation. So let me just uh, spin this guy around, something like, I don't know, something like this. All right, I'm gonna deselect it. Now, it doesn't look like it's upside down or anything because this could actually be correct uh, for different compositions. Now, what I need to do is select this guy and reset this bounding box. So while I have it selected, I'm gonna right click on it, find transform, and then choose Reset Bounding Box. Click on that once, and now everything's nice and straight, so if I need to make any transformations, it'll be a lot easier for me to work with it this way. And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at Reset Bounding Box in Adobe Illustrator CC 2015.